Okay, so recording starts. Do you see the screen? Agricultural Commodity System? Yes, sir. Okay, so ito yung the module 3, the, the system. Okay, how does it operate? Nag-move ba ang screen ko? Nag-move? Hello? Opo. Okay. So here, there is a link between agriculture and food. The link between agriculture and food continually evolves. In primitive societies, the farmer and consumer were either the same family or close neighbors who bartered their products and services. But as societies develop, other linkages are added. Meaning, uh, during the primitive society, primitive times, ano, kung sino nagtalim siya rin ang nagkukonsume, no? or maybe kapitbahay, but as time goes on, nagkaroon na ng linkages kasi na-develop na ang different na mga trabaho or skills and not everybody became a farmer. There, there was a saying there na dahil nagkaroon na ng surplus food, now some people could uh, uh, afford to work other types of work or jobs at hindi na mag-farming kasi yung gagawin na lang niya, magtatrabaho siya ng ibang work for a salary, tapos bili na lang siyang food kasi marami ng food elsewhere. So in modern times, hindi tayo mga farmer lahat. Uh, there are varieties of jobs because there uh, is already surplus of food na nabibili sa supermarket. Can you imagine kung hindi uso ang pag-produce ng food at pag-prolong? Uh, ibig sabihin tayo ay we have to plant our food or raised animals for meat at uh, nagtatrabaho tayo ng iba tapos nagpa-farming pa tayo. Commodities or commodity traders, processors, manufacturers. O ito yung mga linkages natin. Ito yung mga kaugnay ng kasama sa commodity system who convert, produce into food items and retailers among others are added between the producer and the consumer. So hindi lahat ay consumer. Meron ding mga middleman. Ano? And these are uh, retailers, processor, manufacturer, mayroong wholesaler, no? dami. Agricultural commodity system, this is the sum, the sum total of all operations involved in the manufacture and distribution of farm supplies, production operations on the farm, and the storage, processing, and distribution of farm commodities and items made from them. So, pag tinignan natin, kung i-grab natin ang um, agricultural commodity system, simple lang. You have the consumer at the middle and then there are three circles there. The agricultural input sector. Ito yung nagtatanim o nag-raise nag ng mga animals. You have the agricultural production sector sila naman ang nagpa-process noong mga raw materials coming from the agricultural input sector. And then, the other side, you have the manufacturing and the processing sector. So, yung isa, agricultural production, ito pala nagpa-process, yung nasa top, agricultural inputs. So, sila yung mga nagbebenta, I mean, ng mga Seeds, fertilizer, inputs kasi yan, probably mga nets, lahat ng gagamitin, in, in fact, pati mga uh, machineries kapunta sa agricultural production sector and then they will be conducting the marketing, ibebenta sa manufacturing and processing. Na, uh, sa gitna, kaya doon sa gitna ilagay ang consumer because consumer can purchase, option siya na bumili, then ang consumer, 
kung kailangan niya sa agricultural input sector. Pwede siyang bumili rin direkta galing sa agricultural production as press. And most likely lahat tayo nakakakonsume noong manufacturing and processing products nga in cans, in containers ng consumer. So nasa gitna ang consumer. And how how ito ay nag nagmumove ang mga products nila towards another is done through marketing. So sales and marketing, sales is the actual exchange of good. Yung marketing naman is the process uh, na sinasabing ito yung proseso kung paano nalalaman ng isang sector na meron kang product. Okay. So, pwedeng advertisement, pwedeng uh, direct, sabihin one-on-one -on -one selling. Okay. Include din sa agricultural commodity system encompasses kasama lahat, all, sana all, operations involved in the production of farm inputs and the use of farm inputs in the cultivation of crops, of raising of livestock, the various handling and processing of agricultural commodities, and the transfer of these commodities to the end users. Spread among these operations are the various support services that provide logistics, coordination, financing, manpower, technology, information, policies and programs, incentives and other services that lead to the achievement of a successful agricultural business enterprise. So, dami na kanina, simple lang, from producer to consumer, ang dami nang dinaanan, merong primary wholesaler, merong uh, type of producer na yung unang kanyang gagawin, self-consumption or home consumption. Yung iba, ibabayad sa utang, sa mga may-ari ng lupa. At yung sobra ng kanyang, ben, ng kanyang harvest goes to the market as a surplus mo. Okay, yun ang ibinibenta either sa primary wholesaler, mga mamamakyaw, o kaya itinda mo sa barangay, sa village nyo. Uh, some would go to the mills, mga iskisan, you know, And dito naman sa village ay mga, mga shops. Ano? Of course, mayroong klase ng, ng producer ay member ng Cooperative Marketing Society na nagpa-process din before they uh, finally ended up in the hands of the consumer. Along the way, mayroon pa mga players like Itong buyer commission agents, nagninegosyo rin yan. Pag nakabenta, may 5%, 10% na kita sila. Merong tinatawag na terminal market wholesaler baksakan. Parinig siguro nyo yan. Sa mga hayop naman, ito yung tinatawag na auction, mga baka. And all along, laging merong government agencies for the regulation. You have the retailer, wholesaler, and the full price shop. Okay? Of course, kanina na, but na banggit ko yung cooperative processing unit. And all of those are included sa malaki na sistema ng agricultural commodity. Hinati pa rin yung uh, commodity system na yan into, I think, tatlo. Ang unahin natin, yes, tatlo. Agricultural input sector. So, ito yung mga nagpo-provide ng mga pangailangan para makapag-produce ang farm ng intended niya na mga products. So, in order to maximize yield, it's necessary for farmers to aid their harvest with agricultural inputs, especially smallholder farmers Agricultural inputs are any external source put into soil that can help a farmer upcoming yield. Pag nilagay sa lupa, 
ay nako, laging maaalaala natin. Of course, the fertilizer, they can be anything from high quality seeds to high tech tractors, simply put their and resource used to increase crop yield cutting input sector. Uh, under the input sector, categories naman tayo, you have the consumable inputs. Consumable inputs are your everyday commonly used agricultural inputs for smallholder farmers like seeds. Pag sinabing uh, consumable, bibili ka uli. No? Fertilizer, pagkalagay mo sa lupa, matutunaw. Insecticide, pagka-apply mo, wala na siya. So, you have to buy again. The capital inputs naman, on the other hand, are materials such as tractors and trellising materials that are often a larger investment. Now, you have the consumable inputs are types of inputs, going back again, that will be consumed naturally by the crops or animals. The most commonly used, then quality seeds, soil, fertilizer, insecticide, pesticides, insect crops, straw, hay, and water. Capital input, sample natin, ang mga gamit, nylon netting sticks, tractors, araro, and irrigation system. Other classification of inputs, according to source, are natural resources. Okay, correct. Inputs that are fixed to a natural site such as land and water. Kung meron ng mga irrigation talaga doon, normally galing sa government ang management yan, those are natural resources and of course your uh, own land. Mobile resources naman includes labor, capital, and material, and knowledge. Natural resource limitation Nauubos din, kaya dapat i-conserve. We can always source more additional mobile resources but not fixed resources. No? Pwede ang ma-dry up ang, ang source of water. Natural resources are by definition limited. More land or more water cannot be produced. Hindi na dadami daw yan. And available natural resources must therefore be treated with respect if the farming operation is to be successful. So, diyan nakasalala yung ating tinatawag na sustainability. The availability of these resources to meet the long-term needs of the enterprise is of critical importance. So, now we go to the uh, second sector, which is the agricultural production sector. The agricultural production sector is the use of cultivated plants or animals to produce products for sustaining or enhancing human life. People use a vast array of agricultural products every day. This range from the clothes we wear to the paper we write on with decorated flowers often produced by agriculture and run our cars in part on ethanol produced by agriculture. Samples, agricultural crops turned into products fall into one of four groups, which is food, fuel, fibers, and raw materials. Roughly 11% of the planet's land is dedicated to crop production and close to 26% is being used for animal pastures. So you have the food, fuel, fiber, and raw materials. Some examples of food products, grains and cereals, milk, fuel, you have the ethanol from corn, sugar cane, sorghum, nakakakorin pala. Um, agricultural production byproducts can be used in industrial applications such as textiles or used to reinforce plastics. Fiber, kanina nabanggit natin cotton, wool, wool and silk. The hemp, yung abaka, to make rope and flax for linen. Bamboo fiber also, to make clothes. Raw materials are products not refined or processed for use in one of the other categories. Many of the crops grown are used to feed animals that become other agricultural products. 
There are businesses involved in agricultural production include the breeding operations, farms including crops and certain animals, greenhouses and nurseries that grow their products to be sold at retail, ranches, tree and sub farms to produce are sold at retail and not replanted elsewhere by the grower. Probably, we will be asking, Sir, ano ba ang sabihin ng SOD or SOD Farms? Ang alam ko, pinuproduce nila grass na gamit sa mga golf courses and landscaping. Agricultural production does not include okay, tatandaan, storing or preserving raw materials, hindi kasali yan sa agricultural production before the start of the production process. Storing, preserving, handling, or moving finished finished goods. Storing or processing agricultural products at co-ops, grain elevators, dairies, or meat packers. Grain elevators, ito yung ah, lalaking structure na ano, pataas. No? Uh, para itong mga towers. Ang laman pala noon ay mga grains at merong structure na nagmo-move upwards para doon ilagay yung mga na-inbak na grains. Normally, sa mga tabi ng dagat kasi kapag ka mga imported grains ay eh, nakakarga yan sa mga barges yung the travel sa sea. So doon, nilalapit na lang doon. And racing animals for personal use does not included in agricultural production. Agricultural production activities naman Includes the following, agriculture, which is cultivating soil, planting, raising, and harvesting crops, rearing, feeding, and managing animals. While aquaculture, is raising private aquatic animals or fish, floriculture, growing flowering plants, horticulture, growing fruits, vegetables, and plants, maple syrup harvesting, sa itong maple, ito yung uh, nasa, nasa plug ng Canada. Merong syrup doon. Kapag ka sa supermarket, makakita rin kayo ng maple syrup pang lagay sa hot cake. Silviculture, growing and caring of fresh trees. So, meron pala mga ganyan. No? So, we will end on that note. Uh, we will continue our uh, lecture on the agricultural production sector uh, practices on the next meeting. It is already 8.54. So, we will end the recording right now. The recording.